Hey y'all, welcome to Gigi's Wig Wall. So glad to be with you again. Look at my hair today. I like this big old hair. Thank you for letting me come into your life one more time. It's a pretty exciting day because, you know, December 26th was Boxing Day. January the 3rd is going to be Unboxing Day for my first Raquel Welch, and I am so excited. But let's go over a few little things here. First, let's start off with what I'm wearing. Okay. What I'm wearing right here is Orchid by Aesthetica. Orchid's a big piece of hair. She's not that heavy, um, but she's long, and really what I got her for was... Uh, to have a wig that I could use for updos during the holidays if I needed needed any, and I ended up not needing any. And um, so I had all my wigs. <laughs> I had everything I could pick from, so I didn't have to do an updo to have some big hair. So anyway, I bought this, and it had it came in this beautiful color called Sunlit Blonde. Let me open her up and look. She's Orchid by Aesthetica. I got her in um, Sunlit Blonde, which I believe is a newish color. So let me just read what she is. Soft blend of sandy blonde, lightest blonde, and ice blonde with a light golden brown root. I don't know if y'all can see that real well. But she sure is pretty. She's got a really lovely lace front. Got a left mono part. Now, you see that right there? I gotta train that right there. It hasn't learned where to sit. So it's gonna get a lesson today on where to sit. And I'll have to review on look at how I'm gonna um, see because she's a synthetic so I can't just fly in there with um, a heat tool heating tool I guess I'll have to use an airbrush and um, just be cautious anyway that's something I'm just not always the best at when they're not heat defiant. That's why I like that heat defiant. I don't go over like 280 on the heat defiant. I'm very cautious. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to work on that right there. So, because it goes whoop. Yeah. Anyway, so let me just go over the, some of the things I have on. A couple of things I've gotten. Clark is back. I don't know if you noticed Clark is back. And I had a great comment saying, well, that they liked my bangs when I did the bangs in Sky. And what did I do with Clark? And I thought it was Clark the wig. And anyway, they were like, no, Clark Griswold. Well, I had put Clark in the garage because I'm kind of like over Christmas. And the girl that helps me take things down can't come till Monday because it's like, you know, I have to say I give myself that as a Christmas present because, you know, taking down Christmas decorations is awful. It's not fun. Nobody, if there's a woman out there who says, I just love taking down my Christmas decorations, well, tell her, good for her. She's a very unusual, unique, special person, but this is not this girl. So, I'm still in a house with explosion of Christmas, and I'm over it. But Clark, you know, I did just get him on December 24th. So, yes, he needs to hang with me a little bit. Until I get something to replace him with. And what in the world would I replace him with? Ooh, Luke Grimes. Oh, oh maybe that's it. Yellowstone. Anyway, so let me go down my stuff. So you got Orchid here. She's pretty long, let me tell you. Her crown is not 12 inches back here. You can see. We will review her. We're not going to review her today. 
She's just my scene setter here on the show. Anyway, so the nape is 13 inches. Holy smokes. So that's long. So, get the hair. Let's talk about my glasses here. I've had some questions on what am I wearing. Uh, I am wearing, um, this is Peepers. It's from Peepers. I get most of my glasses from Peepers. And let me tell you, I got some glasses. Um, you can get progressives there. You can get readers there. You can get blue light there. I get a mix. I get the blue light. With the progressive, those need cleaned. I need a, I need a rag here. But I get quite, I, might, I think they're cute. I think they're very cute. Um, I really cannot see without glasses. I remember thinking, oh, I'm, I'm just not, not aging like everybody else. My eyes are so good, 2020. Then one day I woke up and they were not. So, I have to have readers. I have to have everything to see everything. So. And, you know, if you've been a sharp person with sharp vision, contacts do not make you happy. And they have not made me happy. I do think I may try it one more time just to be open-minded. But, I, you know, there was an airline attendant one time. I used to fly for business a lot. And she had the cutest glasses. And I said to her, your glasses are adorable. She said, I have decided that glasses are face jewelry and kind of like our wig being a fashion accessory and so she's like I'm being whatever I like on my face is what I'm gonna put on and after that I kind of changed my mo of trying to be all conservative and I went with the flash because I love flash all right so uh peepers top Amazon I will tell you about this top on Amazon it is, I'll provide links down below to these, um, these products. It is nice and heavy. It's got a nice weight. It's not light and, and thin. Um, it's definitely cozy. So it's, this is a good purchase right here from, from Amazon. Necklace is a Brighton. Oh, I want to mention I've got surgery coming up. Thursday, so I'm going to kind of be off the grid for a little bit for a few days, but I'm drinking my Fair Life protein drink so that my healing will be faster. Um, I'll let y'all know about my surgery when it's all done. I'll do a video about it and, and tell y'all about it, but it's 150 calories, but what's really nice is it's only two and a half grams of fat and the sugars, total sugars are two. So, the others kind of have high sugars. This one's a low sugar with the 30 grams of protein. So, I can build up and, and heal good. So, anyway, um, going to take a swig. Okay, y'all, we're going to do an unboxing. Let me get this girl up here. I'm back. Here she is. She came in this box today to my door. I was so excited when she arrived. Um, I have a paper with all her specs. Eh, well, anyway. So, this is Raquel Welch. Um, well, crowd pleaser is what I've got. Now, it says on here, it's from the Signature Collection. All right. Uh, I told you, here you wear told you I keep my boxes. I, I think that's kind of nice and hygienic and organized. Um, and then it has, I like the label. Some of them don't label them. I like this label. This is the Shaded Biscuit RL1923SS. Uh, it's an average size and it's crowd pleaser. Now I want to pull her up here so when I talk about her specs, uh, we can just quickly cover it. And there she is. So, I was very excited. It was a special day. I got it off of this. I'm, I, I got it off the internet. And that day they had a special sale for an extra 30%. And so I picked it up. So let's just open her up. Now, I everything I get in the box, you know, it comes in that box that UPS drops off. Everything that's in that box, I save. 
Uh, it's kind of fun looking here. This has, this is essentially a little catalog with different uh, items. It has products and it also has, um, has different wigs. So that's fun. Comes with a little cap and just other things, you know, clean beauty starts here. That's more about sales of products. And I do use specific crop products. Some of them are in here and others are, I've gotten from these experts that are on YouTube. I will tell you, these people are experts. I, every day I spend a little time doing an education piece, listening, watching, and they are really, really bright out here. They know everything. It's a way, this is YouTube University right here. So, all right, got all my little things. And so let me open the box for you. She literally has not come out. I so wanted to pull her out. And I was like, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resist. Uh, get myself ready for this, for the show. And um, then we'll be able to look at her together. She is secured in there. She's boxed like this. You see that she has the net around her over the rep, over the um, the hair itself, right? Uh, she is secured with not two nice bobby pins. So I'm going to take that out. And she's got her little tag. She has her netting. And per, per the experts out there, you want to shake her out. But one, let's look at the cap real quick while we're, before we shake her out. Oh, there's the net. Lost track of that. See? She's going to get a discipline. All right. So, nice lace front. You can see the lace front. Of course, I've not painted it. I don't know if I will. Um, um. Raquel Welch is supposed to be super comfortable, and if it's anything like the Gabor, it will be. Um, you can see that the colors, let me flip it this way, the colors run right up uh, across the hairline, um, so you get that look that it's, it's your hair coming out of your scalp. It has a left mono part. It's got the open cap, it's wefting, basic cap back here. She does not have an extended... Uh, nape. Um, she does have the Velcro adjusters, which I'm just going to go ahead and adjust. I always have to pull it in. It's kind of a, I know to go, take it to the little tags back there, and that's about where I need it usually, but we'll see how this one does. They don't all do the th same. Uh, ear tabs, nice ear tabs, closed ear tabs on each side. So, let me take it, take her up. Flip her over and let me shake her out. Breaking up those fibers. I've got water. I'm sorry for the industrial water bottle, but that's what I got right now. I'll get something pretty soon. All right. So, ooh, she's all shook up. All shook up. Now I'm going to take off Orchid. I'm going to take my glasses off. Okay, let me stack Orchid real nice. I like to treat my wigs very well. They are my girls. And let's put on Little Miss Crowd Pleaser. Okay, once again, I take her by the nape and I put my head down into the cap, pulling the nape down over my occipital ridge getting the ear tabs correctly on each side of my ears, lifting the front. Now, I didn't say that to you yesterday, but the reason you wanna lift that front and move it back to your hairline is it will, you can roll your wig grip, and I'll tell y'all where I got my wig grip. Um, I think it's basic care. All right, so I'm just gonna put my glasses on so I can see and then we'll readjust as needed. So I will tell you she's, she's uh, uh, with adjusting her, she's not a big cap. 
Uh, I don't feel that it's big. Um, I feel like it fits just right with the adjustments that I did. I got her for specific reasons. I wanted that look of Stella, which we've had on here. Um, without getting too long, especially, you know, winter and our, look, our little sweaters up on our neck. And I wanted something along that line with that style because I love that style. And I thought she really looked perfect for this. So let me tell you about her. She is those true to life fibers. And I can tell that they feel very silky. Um, definitely silky feeling fibers. Um, she is from the Signature Collection. She's an average cap. She's heat friendly. I like heat friendly. Everybody's like, well, you know, they fray, blah, blah, blah. Well, I just work with them. I like working with them. All right. Her specs were, her front here is six and a half. Her crown is 10. Her sides over here are seven. Her back is six and a half. So back and front's the same. And the nape's 4.25 and she weighs 3.25 ounces. Let me tell you, she is not, they say that it is density is light to medium. It is not heavy density. It really is not at all. I don't feel like, oh my goodness, I got a light really a lot of fibers on my head at all. Um, I'm gonna work a little bit here in my, where's my little comb? There it is. Well, let's comb her a little bit. She's cute. I like her. Kind of messier up. I like her. I don't like them too fixed. And, you know, I think that's uh, always a, um, we, we're tempted to make it too fixed, and we should not. We should be, like, messing them up. Oh, I love her. I love her little flip out. She's like a, she's like an easy-to-wear Marilyn Monroe. I always feel like Stella is a Marilyn Monroe when you get out and you're all dressed up. But this is an easy one. I'm telling you, this could be, like I said, on the categories. Look at her. Look. She's just out of the box, and she's not flopping in my face. Wow, that is amazing. I love her. Oh, guys, I think you must get one of these. I think she is a must-have. Look at her. Okay, let me show you the back. I'm going to take my mirror here with me. Let me look at her. Look at that, how easy she moves. Look at her length. Just perfect. Oh, and I love these colors. This is beautiful. I'm telling you, it's a must-have. I will tell you, this is probably going to be my go-to. I can already feel it. You know, Eve. Eve is a go-to. Um, Jet, I have a, the Jet, which I think I've reviewed for you. I know I have. It's a go-to, you know, if you're going to run out. But I just think I've got a, gotten another go-to right here. Let's see if she can part other ways. Well, she can. She can do it. But I'd have to, I'd have to work with those little fibers, which I don't mind. I like playing hair. Anyway, back to the other side. Guys, she's really pretty. You will like wearing her. Let me look. You know, sometimes these glasses will create a gap. And uh, I don't like that gap. I've mentioned to it, you need to be get it close at your temples. But this has a nice space between the ear tab and the ear. Because these are thicker arms on these glasses. Maybe there's, there's probably some specific name, but these arms. And it just rolls right in that little canal. So, you know, that would be also if you had like hearing aids, um, it's already in there. It's already got that little gap. So that's another thing. I love that they think of all the things we're going through. You know, life is just 
you got to go through these things and it you want to look good doing it. Well, okay. Eat the heat from my hands. And look at these great fibers up here. Let me make my push down a little bit on my lace top, lace front. Isn't that pretty? Keep that little hand up. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. Okay. Look at this pretty ring my daughter-in-law got me for Christmas. She got it off of Amazon from the turquoise shop. I'll put that link in there for you too. I thought that was so sweet. And then this is Pearls by Sherry out in Jackson, Wyoming. And y'all let me know if you'd like me to share with y'all information about our trip to Jackson, Wyoming. Um, it was a lot of fun. I did a lot of research for it and I can certainly give you advice on that and just share pictures and stuff. It was a, it was a bucket list trip. It was wonderful. I'm sorry, I got off track. Squirrel, but anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of training on her, but she still is not flopping in the face. So, she's going to be a go-to. Well, guys, that's my video for today. Oh, my goodness, she is so cute. Look at her. Is that not cute? Couldn't you see yourself running around town, going in the grocery store, you know, stopping by, uh, I don't know, the Ace Hardware, because they always have the good things. And I mean, just running into my husband's store. What you doing, honey? And he always knows I'm in there to show off my little outfits. He's so good. What a good man. All right, guys, this is Michelle. Thank you for joining me today on Julie's Wig, wig Wall. And um, there'll be more things coming up. We'll review other items like Orchid. I'll let you know how this wears. I'm going to wear her here around the house this evening uh, just to get a good feel for her. Um, this is, once again, Cloud Pleaser by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit. Love the colors. Just nice. It's a neutral but maybe a little cool like it a lot. So thanks so much and y'all have a wonderful day. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.